and today we are going to see multiple choice questions on Laplace transform. We will see the two examples, example number 9 and 10. Example 9 is the Laplace transform of the function f of t equals to t starting at t equals to a is given by. We are having this four option. So what we have to find out here, first of all that we must know, that is we have to find out the Laplace transform of displaced function, displaced by a distance a and for that we will use the formula Laplace transform of f of t minus a into u of t minus a equals to e to the power minus a s into f of s. So how we write the formula for this u of t minus a, I suppose that on the e to the power minus a s and then removing this minus a, just find out the Laplace transform of this f of t that we write down here it is what f of s and here we are having the f of t as it is what t and it is starting at t equals to a that means we are displacing the t by a so function will be what t minus a and we are finding the Laplace transformation of t minus a into then u of t minus a and it will be given by for this u of t minus a I write down e to the power minus a s and then we write down the Laplace transformation of t only excluding this minus a and that is given by 1 upon it is s square. So tell me which option is correct here option c is correct. Question number 10 if Laplace transformation of f of t is given as 2 into s plus 1 s square plus 2 s plus 5 then f of 0 and f of infinity are given by. So for finding the f of 0 and f of infinity we have to apply the initial value theorem and the final value theorem of Laplace transform. So we are having these four options. Now here I write down the initial value theorem for the Laplace transform which is limit t tending to 0 f of t equals to limit s tending to infinity s into f of s. So function of s is already given to you which we denote by the f of s here. Then multiplying this f of s with s and then taking the limit as s tending to infinity. That is there is no need to find out that is what function of t. We can use this function of s to get that it is f of 0. So here in the formula I write down the f of s here as it is then limit s tending to 0 I can write here. What we do here for finding the limit I take out the common s from here so it will be what s square we are having 2 is already with us and in a bracket we can write 1 plus 1 by s here. Now taking the s square common from the denominator we will have it is 1 plus it is 2 by s plus it is what 5 by s square. So here the s square get cancelled now put the infinity as s so it is 1 by infinity that you know it is what 0 so we are left with only 2 in the numerator. And in the denominator if you put the s infinity here that 2 by infinity is 0, 5 by again infinity is 0. So 1 is left here that is 2 by 1. So answer is 2 which is the answer of f of 0. So if you see in the option b we are having 2 as the f of 0. So option b is correct there is no need to find out the f of infinity but we can get the f of infinity by using the final value theorem and it is very simple for the final value theorem what we do here I just put the infinity limit here that is t tending to infinity and I put the limit as s tending to 0 here and everything will be same. If we say s tending to 0 and if I put the s equals to 0 here this will be 0 in the numerator and in the denominator I will have it is 5. So answer is what 0. So option b is the correct option. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you get something from it please like and share the video with your friend and please do subscribe the channel Mathematics Ganesh Sangraha.